I'm Matt, and this is what you can get for 10 US dollars in Marrakesh, Morocco. First snail here. What is up guys and welcome to a new video from Marrakesh, Morocco, which is known to be the most chaotic and hectic city in the entire country. And today I'm going to be taking you around with me as I discover the street food of Marrakesh and see how much we can get with 10 US dollars or 90 Moroccan dirham. So let's get started. So to start off the day, I am trying to get a local Moroccan breakfast, so I've come to this little stand on the outskirts of the Medina, and I'm gonna get something called a basara, which is a fava bean soup, and I think it comes with a tea and some bread. So we're gonna check it out, see how it tastes. <coughs> So I got some basara here, which is the fava bean soup, and he adds a bunch of oil on top. So there's this thick layer of oil, and then it comes with a piece of bread, which is how you eat it. You don't get any utensils. And then you get a little cup of classic mint tea. And this costs 10 dirham, which is a little more than one US dollar. So I'm going to dig in and see how this tastes. So there aren't really any like official tables or anything here, so I found a little stool with a new friend. <laughs> and we're just eating right next to each other, sharing our meal. All right, so I got my bread and my basara. Gonna give it a little dip. Oh, that's a ton of oil. Really, really good, super oily, very thick, dense way to start off the breakfast. The mint tea that you get, like a lot of places in Morocco, is doused with tons of sugar. So it's really, really sweet. Um, a little bit too much sugar for me personally, but still really tasty. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I couldn't finish the basara. I got about halfway done. It is really tasty, but it's just so heavy with all that oil on top. So I'm gonna go walk around and see what else we can find and hopefully find something sweet to balance out that heavy dish. I've been walking around the Medina a little bit and I've come across a little stand that sells crepes with chocolate so I'm gonna do that to savor my sweet tooth here there's just a really kind woman who is gonna make my crepe I got my little crepe here and I think it has some sort of Nutella filling it cost five dirham which is a little more than 50 cents and then she gave me a free mint tea as well and there's actually a lot of French influence here in Morocco because at one point the French military had control of a lot of the country. So that's why you see some crepes and some other French desserts. We're gonna see how this tastes. Pretty good. It's much thicker than the crepe I would imagine back home. But I mean, nice crispy dough with some chocolate on the inside. Can't go wrong, right? All right, crepe was delicious, and for just about 50 cents, I mean, what a deal. So to be fair, I am walking in a lot of the less touristy areas in the Medina. I've just gotten lost, found some spots that look a lot more local. So there you can find a much more affordable eats, uh, which is what I'm trying to do. So I found a little pomegranate juice stand. You'll find these all over Marrakesh. And I got myself a pomegranate juice. It costs 15 dirham, which is a little more than $1.50 US. Oh, so good. I love pomegranate juice. The sweet, earthy flavor. So, so delicious. So
I've just been walking around getting lost in the market and I've come across a food stand that sells tagine which is a typical Moroccan dish so I'm going to indulge in some it looks so so good and freshly made big welcome <laughs> Fish tagine. Fish tagine. <laughs> Looks delicious. Yeah, thank you. This is chicken because we have two chicken. Okay. This is number one chicken. Yes. Uh, not like chicken. The local. Local. Local chicken. Local, local chicken. Okay. Local chicken. Yeah. All right. So we're getting number some local chicken, chicken tagine. The best tagine in Marrakesh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best, but it's good. <laughs> no. but another place is where you can eat also very good. I got myself some Moroccan tagine here. And tagine is actually just the way a dish is made. It's the clay pot that it's made in. And you can have all different types of tagine. I got chicken and vegetable. And it cost me 30 dirham, which is a little over 3 US dollars and they slow cook the meat and the vegetables so it's supposed to be really, really tender, super delicious. All right, we're gonna give it a taste. Ba-boom. Oh, that is some tender chicken. So, so good. Got a piece of cauliflower, steaming hot, super, super hot. And the spices are just delicious. It's hard to explain exactly what it tastes like. It's not spicy at all, but just like a really cool, nice, different mix of spices. Super delicious. Uh, okay. Honey, we put a honey, we put a. So just a couple steps away from the tagine, I've come across a little juice stand and I'm not exactly sure what this is. Some mix of vegetables and fruits, but it should be pretty tasty. Oh, that's good. Feels healthy too. I think it's some sort of like spinach, maybe a little bit of cucumber, apple. That's what it tastes like to me. Anyway, this costs two dirham, which is around 25 cents US. So pretty good deal. What I'm learning at this tiny juice stand is that pretty much you come up, take a glass and pour whatever mixture of juices you want. And no matter what it is, it's two dirham. Really nice little local spot. Everyone getting their juice after a nice meal. I'm here at another little food stall and he's making kefta, which is a bunch of minced lamb and it's a bunch of different parts of the animal and then he smokes it over the charcoal and they call him Mak Kefta Mak Mustafa, Mak Mustafa. <laughs> So they call him Mak Mustafa instead of McDonald's. Like Mac McDonald's and Mac Mustafa. That's his name. This is such a hectic area. So many little food stalls all over in this tiny little path. And I'm not gonna have the kefta right now because to be honest, I am so full, but it also looks pretty intense. A really local dish. They use all different types and all different parts of the lamb. So it's heart, the breast meat, the brain, everything, and it's all mixed together. So a pretty intense dish if you are up for that. After walking around for a couple hours, I've come across this little stand selling a traditional Moroccan donut. So it's essentially your fried dough, and it looks something like this. And he's frying it right here. I think they're trying to tell me that there's honey on top. So for one donut, it costs one dirham, so a little more than 10 cents US. So here he's making the Moroccan donut, just popping it into the oil. It's 
so I got my Moroccan donut. They put some honey on it. Really good. Nice, fresh, warm, with some honey. Delicious. Because these were so good, I spent one more dirham and got one more. Just take a look at this. Wow. The only problem with honey is that you get so messy. Oh, steaming hot out of the fryer. Let me show you, let me explain to you. <laughs> it's okay. No, no, that's I want to explain to you what we have for later. It's okay, shukran, What's shukran. What's wrong, my friend? So I've made it into the main square here in Marrakesh, and it is about 7 o'clock, just after sunset, and it is so hectic. There are just tons of different stalls selling all different types of foods, and the vendors are pretty aggressive trying to get you to eat at their stall. Okay. Chulak, me. Chulak, okay. Chulak. You're hungry yet? It's okay, thank Why you. Why you hurry? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> promise, brother, promise. <laughs> I promise. Oh, uh, they are so aggressive. Five dirham. The five dirham, small. Alright, so I'm gonna try some snails. Shukran. Uh, and see how it tastes. I don't think I've ever had escargot. I don't even know how to eat it, but this is what it looks like. This is the big pot here. And then this is what I got. I think I use a toothpick to get the little bit of snail out of its shell. Alright, so I got my first snail here. It's a little bit intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Very chewy, tastes like skin and a little bit of fat, but actually not that bad. I think I'm gonna have a few more. On one side here you have tons and tons of food stalls and then behind me you just have absolute chaos. You have people with monkeys on chains, you have snake charmers, people dancing, yelling, singing, all kinds of stuff. Super, super crazy, but an interesting experience to walk around. Wait. I got a local Moroccan soup here, it's called Arida soup, and it's a tomato-based soup with chickpeas and some other stuff. Um, so we're gonna give it a shot. It looks really good, creamy. Oh, it's nice. It has like a nice tomato flavor, but not too strong. Really, really good. The Hariro soup also has some noodles, like little bits of noodle in it. And this soup cost 4 dirham, which is a little more than 40 cents US, and really, really delicious. I've come across another stand here that sells some sort of pita sandwiches. I'm not quite sure what's inside, but the people are friendly. It seems pretty popular, so I'm going to give it a shot. I got some sort of pita here. There's potato, some spices, onion, egg. I have no idea what it's called. It costs five dirham, which is a little more than 50 cents US, so we're gonna give this a shot. Oh, it's spicy. There's some red spice on there. Super, super spicy, wow. Beyond the spice, it's pretty good. Potatoes, eggs, bread, onions, not bad. I found another stand that looks like they have some sweet stuff. I got a nice mint tea. And then I have no idea what this is. Oh wow, that's not mint tea, that's like a spice tea. This is ginger tea. Ginger tea. Yeah, spices. Spices. Really good though. And then some like brown paste. I have no idea what it's called, I have no idea what's in it, but let's see. What is the name? Sweet. Sweet spice. Alright, so we're gonna try some sweet spice. Whatever that is. Mm. Ginger. It's good. Ginger. Ginger root. Yeah. Alright, so he just added a big spoon of ginger into my spice tea. Ooh, that is strong. 
that'll help you if you got a sore throat, clear the nostrils. And then this paste, I have no idea what it is. Kind of like a cocoa cinnamon paste. Pretty good though. At the last stand, I got my spiced tea and the paste, and that cost five dirham, which is a little more than 50 cents US. And now I've come just two stands down to another tea and sweet stand and got a different type of spiced tea. It tastes quite different, not as harsh, not as much ginger, has some cardamom, some cinnamon, and some other spices. And then I got a little sweet ball that has some coconut, chocolate, and some other spices as well. I'm not quite sure, but thought I'd give it a shot. Mmm, really good. Has kind of like a peanut flavor a little bit too. Super, super delicious. On the outskirts of the food area here, you have all these tea and sweet stands. And again, for the different spiced tea and that paste ball, it was five dirham. So again, a little more than 50 cents US. Right next to the food stalls, you have legitimate chaos here in the middle of the square in Marrakesh, Morocco. You have like drum circles. You have people with monkeys and snakes. People doing all types of performances, clapping, dancing, music. It is it's so crazy, so hectic. Well, there you have it. That's what you can get with 10 US dollars worth of street food here in Marrakesh, Morocco. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below if you have not already. And I will catch you guys next week. See ya.